Right then, we are back with some more RimWorld after the uh, the terrible end to last video, where we somehow just ended up with a big fire in the freezer, which is a a weird place to have a fire when you think about it. Uh, everyone suffered burns, but everyone looks like they're now uh, on the way back. I don't think we're gonna have any long-lasting injuries. Uh, no health condition. Nope. You've got some burns. You've got a left eye itchy scar. Okay, well, Tranka, you could be. You're not our shooter, are you? No, you're not. You're a miner. You could be the one that gets our first um, old gunshot to the neck. Itchy leg. Itchy left leg. Okay. Yeah, you could be the first one, Tranker, who gets um, a prosthetic. Maybe you could end up with a an eye. Did we research the... No, sterile materials comes after multi-analyzer. Okay. So the moment we're digging out some more areas, we are smoothing down some more walls. However, both of our uh, both of our people that do construction are both injured, which is not ideal. Uh, we got our turret set up now as well. However, something just ran straight past these turrets. I think we need more um, components, which is something we were having a look at, weren't we? Didn't we uh, find one? Oh my god. Um, yep, well that's burning down. I'm sure we found one down here, don't we, that we we're going to dig out. There's another geothermal there. That might be worth grabbing a hold of because we might need some more power. So if we can dig a hole through there. Um, fibrosis. Oh, my God. What is that? It sounds horrible. I've never heard of it before, but it sounds absolutely bloody horrible. Fibrosis mechanites. Um, okay. Hopefully this is treatable. Uh, where is Elk? Elk, can you prioritize tending? Who else has got it? It was three people, wasn't it, that had it? Is it three people? Was it just one? No, Borba's got it as well. So Borba, you're in hospital already, and you're in hospital already. Uh, and Henriette's got it as well. Wow. This is not ideal, is it? I don't quite... Um, can we get rid of it? Is this what we can get rid of? Or is it a permanent thing? Semi-coherent mechanites which develop fibrosis links in muscle tissue. They enhance the victim's strength but can also cause intense pain. They're probably a mutated strain of a strength enhancing mechanites. But can we get rid of them? That's the question. I don't know. Well, they're all going to sit in hospital for a while, but looks for that's three more people completely out, and it's both of our builders as well. Okay, well, at least we haven't got much building work to be doing at the moment, anyway, have we? So. It's disappointing. It's going to definitely slow things down for a bit. Let's speed the game up a bit then. Hopefully, we can start to get these sorted. Uh, Henriette, you've had yours treated, have you? No. Elk, can you prioritize tending? Um, and Borba. I'm going to tend Borba now as well. So they've all been tended, but... I don't know how long it's going to take before we can get rid of these, to be honest. It's not ideal. And um, we do have... Well, Mirabala is up and about. Oh. Okay. So who had it? So it's Borba. Oh, it's these last three, isn't it? Borba. Um, it is Camolengo. And Henriette. They've all got it. Okay. There's an aurora. Beautiful auroras light up the sky. The indulging colours will boost the mood of anyone outside who sees them. It does look pretty nice, actually, doesn't it? Right, so these are underway now, so um, Devil Strand 22% grown, which is lovely. So once that gets in here, we'll be able to get some more clothing done. Work Frenzy from Borba. That, that is a frenzy then, isn't it? Okay. Uh, and what are you currently doing, Borba? You are currently mining. Well, that's going to get that done nice and quick then, isn't it? Uh, Henriette is back on making some clothing, which is nice. Um... Oh, we've got, some we've got some compacted machinery. We're going to get some more components out of that. That's lovely. 
So we've got some good uh, clothing being made. We've got some uh, some good pants. Uh, wildlife. We've got two unhappy nudities. Because they keep putting on uh, one part of the clothing and not the rest of it. So let's uh, move the t-shirts back up above the pants. Um, work frenzy. Yeah, we know about you already. Uh, fire is just every now and again just breaking into our land. I'll leave it as it is. Okay. It's raining. No, that's good. That's good. That will get rid of the rain. Get rid of the rain or get rid of the fire, shall I say. Um, so, yeah. What are we doing? What are we doing today? Um, well, I'm more worried about these freeze weird um, injuries, to be honest. There's a textiles trader passing by. Um, so, if you can go and call those, see what they're up to. Uh, Pig 2 has died. It's been attacked by a cougar. Where's the cougar? The cougar's in our land. Who's got a gun? You've got a gun. Can you come here? And you've got a gun. Can you come... Oh. That don't really help, does it? Uh, so lots of furs they'll take. Um, I think we want the furs at the moment, though, to be honest. Yeah, there's probably not much here for us, then, is there, really? Uh, we can take some... Do you want to take any of this? Flak pants. No, we don't really want any of this. Let's leave that for now, then. Uh, we want you to come out here as well. And both can shoot down this guy. This is annoying me now. All right, there we go. Um, can you attack... That, please. The cougar needs taken out because it's causing problems. We'll allow the pig to be eaten. There we go. And then you two can be undrafted. And the cougar is no longer an issue. There we go. The cougar is also allowed to get some more meat there. Um, so how are you looking now with this illness? Is it still there? It is. There's no idea yet of how long it's going to take. But the thing is, it's uh, it's increasing pain, but you've got good manipulation, good movement speed, good blood blood pumping, uh, rest fall rate, 70%, 10... You're actually looking... It's actually a really good thing, to be honest. <laughs> They're wrong, it's not great, but it's not terrible at the same time. Um, right, so we get all this done. Henry, they're all sleeping now. Everyone else is out and about doing their work. I'm really enjoying this colony at the moment, I must admit. I'm really enjoying it. Um, we want to... Structure then. Build some limestone walls down here, don't we? Is that what we want to do? I think so. Down about here. Then we want to do another couple of turrets. One there, one there. And then build a little barricade for them. Uh, have we dug that hole through there? We have dug that hole through there. So we can now look at building another geothermal. So power, uh, geothermal generator just there. And we're going to bring the power conduit through the mountain. Let's go to there then. Through here and we'll join up with this here as well. We'll also create a little bit of redundancy so we don't end up losing too much power. There we go. We do possibly need to think about putting some more batteries in as well, don't we? So let's put some more batteries along here. Not there, because that's in the middle. Um, let's go for uh, here. Oh, God. Why do I keep clicking in the wrong place? Why am I so bad? I can't even click in the right place. Oh, I did it again, look. How difficult is this? Right, another battery there. So we're going to sort of get some backup power just in case. There we go. How is this illness looking now? You've still got it. Is it a, a, a permanent thing? This is a new one. I don't recall having this in the past, to be honest. Um, so it's a complete new one for me. We do have power in this tailor's bench now, though, which is nice. Uh, but this is not the one that's got the bill. This is one that the bill's on. Yeah, that's good. Okay, that's good. Then we got some. Uh, we're doing well with that. Then so. We do want to haul, if we can, all 
of this rubbish and all of this rubbish and all of this rubbish uh, a war merchant is that a ship bulk goods trader is a ship let's go and speak to them see what they've got be nice to get slave trader that'd be pretty good um could not talk because of poor health that's not ideal is it um is there anything we can sell them they'll take some potato they'll take a lot of food off of us actually that could be good for money and um, we can buy some more medicine potentially um wooden plate armor devil strand headdress there's nothing amazing that they're willing to sell but we could buy like i say some good stuff um Okay, let's pause. We want to find who's got the best speech, who's not ill. You've got five, zero, four, eight. Tranker's got eight. Ten for blue. Okay, so Trank, I think it's going to be Tranker then. You've got ten as well. You've got four. So it's Tranker then, is it? No, it's blue. Blue, come and speak to uh, the bulk goods trader, please. Because even if we just sell some of this stuff and get um, some silver in, just in case something good does come along. Because um, they have got a lot to sell. So if we if we sold them all of our rice and all of our berries, that gives us 4,000 silver. We'll take all of their medicine. Um, is there anything else we should take off them? Plasteel. I mean, we could buy their plasteel. It's quite expensive though, isn't it? Um, Devil Strand Pants. And do we want to get some of this, like, steel flak helmet? Um, armor is good. Covers head, ears. Um, lightweight combat. Complex design, reinforced with plasteel, not effective against blunt weapons. I mean, it could be useful, actually. Could be useful. Golden flak helmet. Um, is there anything else we really want though? I mean, or do we just get some... Oh, this is the materials we have. They're not selling it. Oh, they are selling plain leather they are selling. So we could buy some plain leather to turn into clothing. Unless there's anything else we really want. A cloth bowler hat. Wooden war mask. What does a wooden war mask actually do? Um... It improves armor and is good against the cold. Pain shock threshold. There's nothing in it. What does a Pope's a smoke pot belt do? Um, covers away. waste. Automatic single use defensive smoke screen. Oh, we don't really want that. Um, advanced components. Let's take both of those. We'll take the components, actually. We are struggling with components. Uh, so let's go, yeah, 2,500, that'll do us. We'll take all of that. We'll get all that hauled in. That's pretty good for us then. Uh, but there is uh, a really good person coming, cargo pods. What's in that? That is, oh, beef. We'll haul that urgently. And we've got the, the war merchant coming in then, have we? To visit? Where are they? Here they are, are they coming in? Uh, Blue, you can go and speak to this guy. A war merchant's good because I'd like to get ourselves an animal flu. Isis has got flu. I'd like to get some good stuff, actually, if we can get some good weapons and that. Haven't really got much. You've got a couple of panthers, uh, which could be useful. Got a male grizzly bear. That'll go well with our female grizzly bear. Um, we've got 126 herbal medicine. Which we could sell you. Yep, you'll take that. Okay. Pistol, bolt action, rifle. There are ones. You've got no other better weapons at all, have you? Oh, you've got some crap you have. I thought you'd have some good stuff. I was really looking forward to seeing you. I thought you'd be really good. But um, evidently not. Um, okay, well, we'll sell you all of our herbal medicine. Because we're growing that anyway. Uh, anything else you want? I mean, the, the other grizzly bear is an opportunity. Because um, it means we could get baby grizzly bears. Which do seem to be pretty decent, actually. Just for um, 
for hauling, and I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a grizzly bear in. There we go. We're gonna have the grizzly. Um, we've got that now. Then, now then, now then. Right, so they're coming in. Um, we've got another quest. I still don't think we're quite ready for those yet. And the prison rooms now. Then, if we have a look at these rooms, there we go. Slightly impressive, mediocre, averagely sized, clean and pretty. Ah, huh, okay. That's fine. Um, uh, let's allow everything just in case there's any animals. There is one animal we can get. So yeah, we've sold all of our herbal medicine. We need to get these walls smoothed out if we can. Where are you at the moment? You're cutting stone chunks. How is your... So it's not terrible, to be honest. It's a medium pain, but it does just make you really strong. But I don't know how we would get rid of it. Uh, a budding artist is travelling by. I mean, we could have maybe looked to kidnap him, but... Birthday! It's Cockroach's birthday! Um... Oh. Cockroach has reached the biological age of 39. Unfortunately... He has gained the following disease due to aging. For God's sake. What's that? Karyakinoma. What even is that? They're making this stuff up as they go along, aren't they? Okay. Well, if we can find a bionic rib cage, then uh, we're looking good, right? Research. We're getting this microanalyzer slowly looked at. Um. Elk, are you on your way to tend to cockroach? You are. Okay, the second uh, grizzly we have, we need to start to train in hauling, please. Now, we've got two people now on researching, which is good. Should hopefully speed that up. We're still digging out our bedrooms. Uh, we've got some uh, stone blocks being done nicely. Cargo pods again, what we're going to get this time. We have got some wake up. Okay. Um. Right. Assign drug, social drugs. I don't think wake up's a social drug. Oh. Oh. Um. Is that the grizzly bear we just purchased? Has just eaten one of our pigs. This is not one of our grizzly bears, is it? That is not one of ours. A grizzly bear's just broke in and just started eating one of our pigs. New lovers! Camomerero and Mibibibrera. God, I wish we had people whose names were easier to pronounce, you know. It'd be much easier, wouldn't it? Uh, and new lovers! Uh, where's my timer gone? There's my timer. Right, we're doing okay. Um, so that's pretty decent. That should keep them happy. Until one of them dies, and then all of a sudden they'll go on a murderous rampage. Um, so we've got bear for dinner, at least. Uh, Blue's going back on the research. Once we get this micro-analyzer done, we can drop one down in here, and that'll definitely speed things up. What are you up to at the moment? You are hauling steel um, to make that conduit outside. So you are dealing with all of this. Okay, getting our second geothermal up and running. The batteries are up and running. They're filling up nicely. Uh, we now actually are able to build um, some limestone sarcophagi um, for our actual people that have died. We're not going to just throw anyone in here. This is just for us and our uh, colonists. Can I move Wally? Don't think he was one of ours. I think he was one of ours, you know. Um, that does say colonists, does it? Colonists will visit caves to gain joy. Uh, so it doesn't really say, does it? I've got a feeling that you were one of ours. Because I can't pronounce your name. And Combaro? Oh, I don't know. I think it was these two. I think it was these two. I mean, are you still annoyed about your husband's death? 
no. Uh, social. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Orange Combaro, ex-lover. And... Who else is ex -lover? It was you, wasn't it? Okay, so we got we got the ex-lovers. We know which ones they are then, because we can check them through there. Okay, so the turrets are up and running, which is good. We've got power. We need to get these walls smoothed out where we can. We're still digging out these new storerooms. Uh, Henriette is working well. We've got some new compacted machinery, which is fantastic. Uh, I want to do some wooden doors in here. Uh, I don't think we've got carpet making yet, have we? So we can't look at um, putting carpets in here yet. So wooden floors might be the case. Um, talking of wool, here it comes. Or cotton, shall we say? Cloth. Uh, still 39% for the Devil Strand, though. So that's, that's going to take a lot longer to get done. But once we do get that Devil Strand, that's going to be worth a lot of money. A lot of dough on that. We could do with somebody else on crafting, really, as well, couldn't we? Is anybody any good at crafting, though? You've got a four. Um... Will not do. You will not do art, even though you're good at it. Oh yeah, because I've got you that priority. Yeah. Um, but you're a quick learner on art, so let's give you a bit of art to do if you've got nothing else to do. Why not? I could do with some more people, really, but work frenzy for Tranka. Uh, what are you actually doing? You're sleeping. Well, wow, that's a good work frenzy. Very good work, Frenzy. I need to figure out these defences a bit because I'm not too keen on these, to be honest. Um, I think potentially I need to maybe block off here. Block off here. And then try and like build some sort of... Make these like the last line of defences. And then maybe have some more aggressive defence around here. I think that might be the best way forward. Uh, we'll have a look at that next time, though. Of course, if you've enjoyed this video, please do hit a like or subscribe if you want to see some more. Uh, hopefully, next time, these guys will get rid of this fibrous mechanitz, whatever the hell that is. I don't like it at all. I hate it. Um, although, it is, it is good. But it's just a pain, isn't it? That's the problem. Medium pain. Uh, which is obviously going to annoy you all the time. You're in minus 10 serious pain all the time. And sick. Okay. Well, well, we'll, we'll oh, no, now we've got bloody gut worms as well, Tranka. Wow, I get gut worms so often. Is that down to bad cooking? I don't know. Either way, I'm not happy. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stop talking now. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.